When it comes to your doctor, you want to be heard, understood, and have a connection, and sometimes that doesn't happen. Post-COVID, many doctors are burned out. And that can lead to communication mistakes and trouble being honest with your health care provider. So when it is time to fire your, your doctor, how do you know? That's the focus of this book, Reimagining Customer Service and Healthcare. Its author is Jennifer L. Fitzpatrick, and she joins us now live. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. You know, I love that you wrote about this because I have fired many a doctors in my day, okay? What are the warning signs that patients are not connecting with their doctors? Well, for one, are they calling you back in a timely manner or if it's something important or are they having their staff do it? If it's something important, you want to hear directly from that provider. Jennifer, what if you're like me and, and you don't necessarily want to fire your doctor because you're too afraid to, uh, you know, you're just nervous and you don't know what to do? Your doctor is your consultant, put it that way. Not an employee, they're your consultant. And you have every right to be treated with a certain level of respect, to have them treat you as an individual, as a human being. And if you're not getting your needs met, if they're not being sensitive to problems that you may have or issues that you might have, you talk to somebody that you trust who, like your colleague there who likes to fire doctors, <laughs> and, and get get yourself uh, the courage because it's your health. You're the only person that can choose the provider that's going to do, do right by you. Jennifer, now I feel like I have to explain. It's not that I like to <laughs> fire I doctors. <laughs> But I will say this, and I think that, you know, you wrote about this in your book, which is so good, is that, you know, we only get one body, right? And, and we know how we're feeling. So if we know that we might be being treated by maybe a provider that's being burned out, that could really have some side effects. So what are some of the risks of receiving treatment from a burned out provider? The risks are that they're missing something, that they're not hearing you, that they're not listening to you. To give you the example, I'm actually just in the process of firing a doctor myself because I had my annual sinus infection and they put me off to a telehealth provider that didn't know anything about me. And I finally said, you know, they I need somebody that's going to be responsive to me. And, yeah. and thankfully, that wasn't a very serious situation. But you want to have somebody that has your back if you were to face something serious. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Yeah. Jennifer, how do you know? How do you know when it's time to find a new doctor? Well, for one, if you're uncomfortable, if you feel like they're not being sensitive to you culturally, generationally, for, for one example, I know people don't think about age as a, a part of diversity, but maybe you're somebody that really likes to fill out forms on the computer and they insist that they mail you a big packet of information and they're not responsive. Like, hey, can we do this in a way that's more convenient? Or they insist that you come into the office when really a telehealth would do. Those are some signs. But in general, if you really feel like like they're not listening, that they're not paying attention, or if you tell the story about something that's going on with your provider to someone that cares about you, and they're saying, you got to get away from this person, listen. Mm -hmm. Yes, put that on the t-shirt, Jennifer, absolutely. What recourse do patients have if they've been, you know, treated poorly by a healthcare professional? Well, first start with the practice. When I had a situation a couple months ago, I contacted the practice. I let them know how disappointed I was. And they really pay attention. When they send you an email, a text, or a postcard of some kind, fill it out, even if you don't want to make the call, because they do pay attention to that. And there are changes in a lot of good organizations they're burned out, they're tired, maybe they haven't had time for a good training with somebody like me. So, but they do take it into consideration if they see, keep seeing the same name pop up. This person was short, this person wasn't sensitive, this person didn't listen to my needs. Yeah. It's not just about your foot that was broken is repaired now, it's about did you feel comfortable and reassured. Mm. Always good information. Your book is Reimagining Customer Service and Healthcare. You're calling for patients to hold doctors to a high standard. Jennifer L. Fitzpatrick, thank you so much for your insight. Thank you.